Welcome to Monday Night Ignite, and we're talking the business right now with Corey DeVries, and it's getting and keeping customers on loyalty rewards. So a little bit about Corey. Corey is a born and raised Iowa farm girl who learned the importance of knowing your farmer at a young age. She developed a passion for holistic wellness in her teens and has been learning and sharing ever since. She found Young Living in 2009, and despite insisting she was not a salesperson and would never do the business, she couldn't keep what she was seeing in her family to herself. She began growing a team of incredible like-minded individuals in 2012. Corey and her former Air Force pilot husband, Gordon, have been married for almost 22 years and live in his home state of Alaska. How's it going up there? They love <laughs> home educating, traveling, and adventuring with their six children. This year, Corey and her team were recognized for having one of the highest loyalty rewards percentages in Young Living. Join her as she shares simple tips on how to get and keep your customers on loyalty rewards. We are all so excited to hear about this. So the stage is yours. All right. Thank you so much for that introduction. Um, I'll just say right off the bat for, I see some people I know here and you, you already know my voice doesn't sound normal, but, um, this is not my voice. So, <laughs> um, I told Danette and Stacy earlier, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. And then I went just a little bit ago to Marco, a friend and my voice went, Err! and I thought, oh boy, we're, in, we might be in trouble. So, um, interestingly, I don't lose my voice often and, when I did used to lose, it was always college during finals week. And it was my body telling me time to rest. So apparently been pushing it a little bit too hard. So I'll go rest right after this when we're, when we're done here. Um, but thanks again for reading that introduction. It's so funny to me. I kept thinking about this as I was making notes for this call. My comfort zone is the health side of this business. I love, I love teaching body systems. I love talking gut health and liver cleanses and health and hormones and, and all of those things. And so this is where in my mind, um, the health and business side of young living overlap, because if we are doing a really great job of educating and supporting our teams, when it comes to product knowledge and how their bodies work and what they can do to support in different areas, they're going to end up on loyalty rewards. As long as we're making sure they even know loyalty rewards is an option. I will tell you that my enroller, and this is no fault of her own, did not share loyalty rewards with me. Um, it was probably because I had already told her how much I hated essential oils. Uh, all the ones I tried, you know, I got the chemical burns and all that, all bad stuff. And I thought they stunk. And so I said, I want these hand sanitizer and that's it. Don't talk to me about anything else. And so I think she just very kindly did what I said. Um, and so it wasn't until later, about a year or so later, when we had a big health thing with one of my sons that I messaged her and another friend and said, Hey, something's up, you know, what should I do? And they gave me a bunch of ideas. And as I was placing this gigantuan order, I came across information about essential rewards. And so I've been on essential rewards, lo now loyalty rewards. So I am on my phone now, I put you up here and let's talk. Apologize, you guys. Thank you for so much grace. All right. So loyalty rewards, first of all, is how I fell in love with so many different products. Um, it's how I tried many for the first time. It's how I kept my uh, list of all of the things that I wanted, my wish list, and got to try them with all of the points that I earned. And that is what I think about when I get ready to share with people anytime, whether I am sharing an intro class or we're doing a DIY event or whatever it is, I always have loyalty rewards in the back of my mind because loyalty rewards is like the, the elite club, the whatever membership it is that you are getting, whether it's at Costco or it's hotel rewards or an airline, there's always like the platinum membership, the gold membership, the elite membership, the triple crown royal membership, whatever it is, that is what loyalty rewards is for us. So if I'm planning a DIY, I'm making sure people know to get, you know, have their, their products on hand uh, before. Yeah, it's like Christmas every month. You're right. 
you know, have your products on hand for the DIY event. Make sure you get them on your loyalty rewards order. Whatever it is we're talking about, we always, always, always talk loyalty rewards. And that would be my first tip. I'm gonna, I have my notes printed out giant as if I'm like going blind or something. So I'll have multiple pieces of paper because the words are so big. Um, but I always talk about it all the time. So talk about it all the time, whether you are posting um, gifts with purchase or you're talking about the challenge that's coming up the following month, the way that Team YL has been doing the monthly challenges right now, make sure that you just post a quick reminder, hey, remember to put your, what, say it's a ninja challenge, put, get your ninja on your loyalty rewards for the challenge coming up next month. Get your carrier oils and whatever oils on hand for the DIY we're gonna do via Zoom this month. Whatever it is, remember to order your gifts, what, whatever it is, loyalty rewards all the time. So, and that might be within different posts. So like if we're gonna talk social media, I'm not even saying you have to have a post on social media in your groups or wherever it is that's focused solely on social rewards. But if you're gonna talk about a challenge or you're going to talk about an event coming up or whatever it is, roll loyalty rewards into it. Talk about it as if it's a given and not an if. It's, it's a when, it's a now, it's not an if. It's just something that we do as part of the, the Young Living lifestyle. If people have questions about it then, then you get to share details, but just always be talking about it. It's like in our house, we are believers, we're Christians. And so we talk about God and Jesus just is, is just a given. It's just a part of our, our lifestyle, our culture and our home. And loyalty rewards is really just a part of the young living culture. It's a part, it's just a natural occurrence. If it's something that doesn't happen right at enrollment, which hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, we just talk about it as if it's, we just know that that's the thing that they're, they're gonna do next, all right? Um, Always share about loyalty rewards as part of your story. So, and that I'm talking about like you have people over for dinner and, and I'm saying this one because it just happened to me. You know, I pull out or I, I empty out my thieves dish soap and I go to grab another and it's gone, right? So it's, oh, I'm out of thieves dish soap. I need to remember to get that on my next loyalty order, right? Or, oh, I'm so excited about that one. I'm going to throw it on my loyalty order. Or, hey, this is one I have on my loyalty order every single month because I love it so much. Tell it through your stories because stories are such a huge, huge deal. All right. Um, make sure, by the way, make sure you're on loyalty rewards. Um, don't be trying to sell this huge part of the Young Living lifestyle if you're not not participating, all right? And especially now that we can order on loyalty rewards at really any amount, um, we're not always gonna reap all the benefits if we're just ordering at any amount, but we can be on it easily every single month. It just should be a given because think about what would happen if, if you're sharing loyalty rewards and, and really encouraging someone and then they say, okay, so what do you order on your loyalty rewards every month? Or, or they just flat out say, are you on loyalty rewards? We want to be able to say yes, absolutely, because it is literally like the most amazing benefit that you get with your Young Living membership. So, of course, I am on loyalty rewards. All right. Um, number four is educate, 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 because the greater your product knowledge base is within your community, your team, your group, whatever you choose to call your people, ours is essential success community, the greater the product knowledge it just follows that the more product usage you're going to have and the more people are going to jump on loyalty rewards so that they can order their products that way and get all of the benefits, right? Um, I think that is why, because I am not a big, huge follow the numbers person. I think that's why our team has naturally done so well, at least partly with loyalty rewards numbers is because we are huge on product education. We'll have just like the factoid post. We have the tell your stories about every product post. We have videos about po or videos about products. We have all every different way that you can teach about the products. We're doing it. We have texts that go out. We have emails that go out. We have weekly classes. We have something going on all the time. Like absolutely never do we get a complaint that there's a there's a lack. There goes my voice. There's a lack of product education within our team. Um, and, and that's part of the reason that I was telling you, I was kind of laughing at myself for offering to teach a business um, focused class instead of talking wellness. 
but that is where they overlap, all right? And I already mentioned number five, which is talking about things from a standpoint of when and not if, just talk about it as, as if, it, and it's not, not when instead of if, as in you're trying to force people to do something, it's just when you place your loyalty rewards order, remember to get, you know, whatever you need for this project, this challenge, this, this, whatever, in a very gentle way. I'm not talking about being forceful. I'm not talking about discounting the fact that we are in trying financial times, because the fact is, if you are looking for the best, most effective products for your family, you want to get them in your home and you're trying to figure out how to budget for them, loyalty rewards is the way to do that. Okay. It's absolutely the way to do that because you get those points back and you are going to be able to purchase in the future for free with your points. I can't believe what it is that I'm able to grab with my points these days. And <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I don't go into a, an actual store, I spend a lot less money. And I was laughing at myself a little bit as I, as I thought about that the other day, because I just had the most kind of ridiculously incredible example of that happened where after church, we, we stopped at the store, whole family, my husband was going to go in by himself. And I said, I'll jump, I'll jump out and go in with you. You know, we can have five minutes alone to chat together while we pick up our loaf of bread. I think that's all we were getting just a loaf of bread, loaf of gluten-free bread, which the stuff at the store is so nasty, but we were desperate at the time. Um, so we walk in the store and I think my husband thought he was about to make it out of the store with only a loaf of bread. He was probably like, this will be the first time in the history of ever that I go in the store with Corey and we come out with our one thing we went in for. All my children had groaned when I said I would jump out and go with him because they were like, we're going to be waiting now 30 minutes instead of five. Well, as we hit the cash register, I look over and I see it, it was a Fred Meyer store. So for those who don't know Fred Meyer, it's like one of those stores that has like a, like a, Target, whatever you call them. I don't even, we just have a little Target up here, but you know, the Target that has everything. And um, Super Target, that's what it is. It's like a Super Target, but it's a Fred Meyer. And so I look over and we've got a little loaf of bread and we're almost out of the store and I see a Columbia jacket that I've been wanting. And I was like, hang on just one second, just one, just, just one second. And I end up buying, you know, a hundred and some dollar Columbia jacket instead of just like a little $7 loaf of bread or whatever it was, okay? Now that's an extreme example, but anytime we can order exactly what we need to our door and we're getting points back for it, we are saving money by not stepping foot in a brick and mortar store. We are saving money on discounted shipping. We are saving money by earning points back and we're getting gifts and all the crazy things on top of it with the monthly gifts with purchase just for being on loyalty rewards. So the perks are absolutely incredible. All right. Get others, this is number six. I'm gonna put another loss in gin, sorry. Get others sharing about their loyalty rewards experience. So anytime you can get others backing up what you're saying about loyalty rewards um, with their own experiences and their own voices, pardon me, it's always gonna be helpful. Other voices don't take away from your voice, they lend to it. So this can be at an event, it can be in a group, it can be on your personal Facebook page, it can be, you know, online event, local event, whatever. It can be something as simple as a post that says, hey, what are your top three favorite things to order on loyalty rewards? What are your favorite perks about loyalty rewards? How long have you been on loyalty rewards? Um, if you had 2000 points or 200 points or whatever, you know, loyalty points to spend, what would you purchase? Uh, what are you saving your points for? A million different questions that you can ask, but get other people talking about loyalty rewards. And again, when people say, I've got, I've got drinks going on both sides of me today. Ninja drink, hot tea, so that I can keep talking. Um, somewhere in there then, somebody is gonna say, what's loyalty rewards? How do I get started on loyalty rewards? And ask all the questions, and that's when you can have that talk, okay? Seven, have a system. We used to have this really good system. Not that we don't have good stuff now, but we had this great system where everybody had to start with a kit of some kind. <coughs> Excuse me. And most people started with a premium starter kit with diffuser. And we went from the kit lots of times, for me at least, I would go on and then teach about the Golden Touch collection. Whether I was teaching winter wellness or moms and kids or whatever it was, Dr. Mom, we taught Golden Touch. And then we taught maybe Raindrop. 
and then maybe it was oils of ancient scripture. Whatever it was, I always had a kit involved. And we also taught in seasons. And I'm sure a lot of you still do this, right? So we teach maybe winter wellness and we um, teach, I don't know, new year, new you. And we teach summer survival or, you know, all the different titles. We tend to teach very seasonally. And I feel like somewhere about the time we gave everybody the ability to kind of order you know, enroll with whatever products they want to do. I saw a lot of like disarray happen and the sharing just kind of started pinging all over the place, what we were sharing. And that's fine. We should share with people according to their needs, but I think it's still important to have a system for your own sanity of, um, so like in our group every month, we have some sort of a theme that we're teaching on and it helps my assistants and me to do our planning. Uh, same with local events or whatever it might be. We have, we have themes and kind of the flow and what that does is it helps us to know that we're covering all of our bases when it comes to product education, which is going to help people to see this broad array of options that they have and go, oh, I actually you know, wanted to, to swap out my skincare. I actually wanted to get rid of all of my toxic cleaning products. Thieves and Ninja too were two others that we shared almost right after the PSK, if not alongside it. Um, and then you're going to just have more people jumping on loyalty rewards because they, some people too are a little bit, um, this is not a big word I'm trying to come up with, intimidated by oils. So Ninja is easy. Thieves Cleaner is easy. So now we have these beautiful kits also, these two new bundles that you can get started with. Um, and I'm going to talk about those a little bit later, but I think it's really helpful to have people get started with bundles. And I think that I see loyalty rewards for my own team anyways. When people have started with a bundle of some kind, they've been more likely to start with loyalty rewards at the same time, or at least be on it soon after, if that makes sense. So have a system for teaching too, so that you can watch and go, okay, I've been doing that that way for like 90 days now, and that's not so much working for me. And I'm gonna switch it up here. Don't switch it like every week, what you're doing. Don't switch the order of things up constantly. But if you have a system and an order of topics that you're sharing or products that you're talking about and how often you share essential rewards within those, that little system of teaching and sharing, I shouldn't call it teaching because that, that scares some people, just sharing. It's just sharing is all it is. When you have that system going on, it's really easy to look. And I think 90 days is a perfect amount of time to look back and go, what does my loyalty rewards number look like now? What are people enrolling with? Are they enrolling with the kit? And loyalty rewards, are they just enrolling with kits? Or if they enroll, you know, without the kit, and you guys saw, some of you saw the numbers um, as far as how many more people keep ordering and come back when they do start out on loyalty rewards. But you can look at those numbers for your own team, and it's going to help you to be organized in how you share. All right. Um, I totally just jumped around there in my, in my notes too. So um, I didn't jump around. I actually went in order, but I just didn't leave my notes. So make sure you share those loyalty bundles. They are beautiful. What I love and Young Living was so smart in how they did this with that new premium aroma loyalty bundle. It's so beautiful. And the thing is whether someone enrolls with that and then they don't have, um, a diffuser, they're going to get a diffuser their second month when they order on loyalty rewards and you can tell them that. Or what if they get started with the Thieves Home Loyalty Bundle, which is absolutely ridiculously amazing because you are literally reaching into almost, not almost every home or every room in your home, okay? You've got laundry room, you've got bathroom, you've got kitchen and whatnot. Um, you're reaching into every room in the home and then second month, they can grab that premium aroma bundle and they get a diffuser. All right. So those bundles are so perfectly thought out to share them, share them, share them like crazy. And they're also just beautiful. So share those. Number nine is thank people for their loyalty. Thank people for their loyalty. All right. Um, people want to feel seen, heard, valued, loved. They want to know they are seen, heard, valued, and loved. And it can be as simple as a text message a Facebook message, really whatever way you, you tend to communicate with the individual. Maybe you Marco with them a lot. Maybe you just send them a quick Marco. It can be a thank you note. It can be a little gift. It can be product credits. It could be so many different things. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. It's the act of thanking them. 
So thank people for their loyalty, okay? Because they could walk into a store and buy just about whatever they want, but they're purchasing with you. And one of the huge benefits to purchasing with you should be that they're not just a number. They're not just dollar signs, dollar bills, whatever. Um, they are someone who is valued and they can come to you and go, you know, by the way, because here's what happens too. When you just touch with little things like, hey, thank you for your loyalty. So many times they will say, oh, thank you for your message. I've actually been meaning to ask you whatever it is. All right. And loyal customers will remain loyal customers when they're getting what they need. And sometimes they have questions that they don't want to. I get so many people who think I am too busy and then they don't ask questions. And then I find out way later that they needed some help. All right. Which tells me I need to be better about just touching with them. Just a little, it could even be a pre-scheduled thing. You guys, if you're using project broadcast or get oiling or whatever it is, um, I'll just say real quickly for a while. I mean, I've been using both of those for quite a while now, but there was once upon a time where I did not use some of those services because I felt like automating things was making people seem not people. Like I was just treating them like a number. But the fact is when you're doing those things because you actually care about people and you are responding or you have someone helping you respond to them, you're taking care of them is what you're doing. You're taking care of them when you wouldn't otherwise be able to have those touch points with them without those tools. So they're super valuable. They're super affordable learn them and use them. All right. Just one at a time, just like Tina was talking about, they were talking about, I jumped on a little bit late because I've got a lot going on with kids today, but I heard them talking about, um, you know, one, one thing at a time, don't do it all at once. Don't do it all at just one thing at a time, choose a tool and use it, choose life steps, maybe, and use it, or choose project broadcasts, choose a tool and use it. Those tools help you to love on people in ways you would not be able to just in your own self. Okay. So thank people for their loyalty. And the last one, number 10, I'm sorry, I think I've probably been pretty disorganized. I can read through the points for you again, if I need to, but because um, I jumped through a few other ones and rolled them all into one. But number 10 was have fun or is have fun being you when you share. Have fun being you when you share. Um, and what I mean by that is be careful with turning this this job, this career, maybe for some of you, it is a little hobby. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, have fun with it. Because when you stop having fun, then you get miserable and you get bitter about the people that need you. And then nobody wants to work with you because you're not fun. <laughs> okay. So make this fun for yourself, share all your favorite things and really be wholly you don't turn into like little Susie oil lady. Okay. Because the thing is when you share your favorite books and your favorite recipes, and your favorite songs mixed in with your favorite oils, your favorite supplements, your favorite things about loyalty rewards. People might try the recipes first. They might buy the books first. They might go to the favorite restaurant you suggested first. But here's the thing, when they love those things, that builds trust. You're building trust with them. And they're going to be much more likely then to try the oil you also love or the Ninja drink you're always talking about or that thieves cleaner that you keep showing pictures of, you know, being, being comfortable with your children using, whatever it might be. And once you've got them trusting you with those suggestions, it's just going to keep rolling and you will have them living the young living lifestyle and you will have them on loyalty rewards. And it's, it just builds from there. All right. So I wanted to throw that one in at the end, just because I see some people go from having this like amazing community, whether it's a local, you know, community group that they are, they're in a book club or they're whatever, they've got this amazing group of friends or they're on social media with this beautiful presence and connected with so many people. And then they start sharing Young Living or any other company. And all of a sudden that's all that's there because they think that's what they are supposed to do. And things kind of fall apart and they wonder why. And it's because they stopped just being themselves. They kind of tried to become something they thought they were supposed to be to make this work. And it actually needed to just, they were, they were in their sweet spot before, all right? So share all of you, share all your favorite things. On my page, it's a lot of Alaska and you know kids and my love for God and those types of things. And then Young Living gets rolled in. And sometimes it's even just general wellness. It's not even always like, here's a picture of my oil. Here's a picture of that. 
Just be you and have fun with it and let loyalty rewards and all the fun products be a part of it. All right. Okay. That is what I have for you guys. I'm sorry that it must've been my computer because my phone did not poop out. So um, apologize for my computer. My husband will probably tell me again, I need to go get a new computer since something happened with it tonight. Um, I'm happy to answer questions. I, I, I always tell people if with before Q&A that I don't promise to have all the answers, but I'm happy to try. So if I'm just describing to someone, um, I have to be careful not to overwhelm people because I am a greenish personality mm -hmm. and I will just like overwhelm. So I tell people that um, loyalty rewards is just simply our monthly wellness box box where you get to pick whatever you need, have it sent whatever day of the month you want, and you earn points back for future, future orders. And the thing I like to do too is I might even say to them, hey, do you have, uh, an, you have a subscription to and whatever? Because if, if I'm talking to the person, I probably already know they love coffee. Like I have a friend who has a coffee subscription, right? Um, or they're in a book delivery club or whatever. And I'll try to compare it to something that they can relate to. Anytime you can help people relate to what it is you're trying to share, then they'll go, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. And they might even just like cut you off because they know, they already know what you're talking about. Beautiful. Somebody asked if you could repeat the 10. Yes, let me do that. So the first one is talk about it all the time. Just talk about it and naturally all the time, not like, being weird about it all the time. Just roll it in to your other, your other conversations about YL. Um, number two, whenever you're sharing your Young Living story, have it be part of your story. Have part of your story. Uh, number three, make sure you're actually on, on loyalty rewards. Number four, educate, educate, educate. Okay. And by educate, 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 I do not mean you have to know everything about oils. Um, there's life steps right there. You can grab so much from life steps. Like you don't have to be the queen know-it-all of the essential oil world, okay? It's actually better when you admit to people you don't know stuff. Like I used to feel like I had to act like I knew all the things and <laughs> just because I was afraid people would be like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But it makes people much more comfortable when you're like, Hey, I, I don't know, but I'll help you find the answer to that. Or I'll go find the answer and I'll get back to you. Okay. But educate, educate, educate. Um, number five, when you're talking about loyalty rewards, it's when, not if. Okay. Meaning if you decide to get on loyalty rewards, no, when you get on loyalty rewards, right? When you get on loyalty rewards. And obviously you don't like get mad if they don't, but we just think about the way that we use our words. All right. Um, number six, get others sharing about their loyalty rewards experience. So, and when you're in a group setting or on social media, invite others to lend their voices to the conversation because that is always so helpful. And plus it's just way more fun. It's way more fun. Number seven, have a system. So have a system for sharing the products, have a system for sharing loyalty rewards when you can keep track of the information that you're teaching and what seasons and um, just the timing, you're going to know what bases you've covered and you're going to be able to go ahead and look back and go, hey, that's working or that's not working and make changes. Otherwise, it's kind of like, I mean, if you're just standing there kind of throwing dot, darts at a, you know, at a board with blindfold on and just hoping to hit a bullseye. So keep track of what you're doing, have a system of some kind. Um, and it can be as simple as just sharing life steps. It doesn't have to be all life steps, but that's just the one that's, that I'm talking about right now. Number eight, um, share the two new beautiful loyalty bundles because they lend themselves very, very well to loyalty rewards and to, to continuing on with loyalty rewards. All right. Uh, number nine. So I did have to end number nine, thank people for their loyalty in some way it can be super simple. It doesn't have to be a big deal. And number 10, have fun being you when you share. Just be you when you share. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Some more questions came in. How often um, or the what is the ratio to sharing lifestyle versus young living? Um, are we talking about social media? Probably, I'm guessing. Um, yes. 
Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> okay. Because I know you said to be yourself and mm-hmm. sometimes you, the sweet spot is that, but then people start trying to be something they're not. So yeah. how do you kind of know what the, I know you don't have the secret sauce maybe of how <laughs> often you share. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I know what you're, I totally know what you're asking. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, so I will say the ratio that I have heard, and I'm saying that because I, I'm a little bit sloppy with that is, is one in five. So, you know, I post about maybe Young Living and then one, two, three, four, five. Here's another post for Young Living. But here's the thing. Um, first of all, I just don't do that. And this year, especially, I lost my dad in January. And so it has been um, a season of, I mean, I probably went months without saying much of anything about anything other than like dad, grief, God, healing and whatnot. But Young Living was a huge part of that. So I know there was a time or two where I posted about an emotional um, healing session that I had with a friend and I had like my kajillion oils out and I posted a picture of the oils. So it just for me, it's, it's honestly, and I know that we aren't all necessarily believe, we don't all necessarily believe the same thing here, but for me, it is a lot of just prayer and asking the Lord to show me what it is that someone might need to hear from me or what I should be talking about. Um, for you, that might be differently, but something, you know, something different, a different way of, of doing that. But I am a little sloppy with it because when you talk about lifestyle versus young living, you will find that if you really just get to sharing your lifestyle and you're really using your products, lots of what you post or say in a live or whatnot um, will, and I don't do like, I don't even do reels and stuff. I post and in my group, I go live and I'm, I'm pretty simple right now. Um, but you'll find that a lot of your lifestyle posts, young living will start to just kind of roll in. It'll just start to roll in there. So a lot of them might be both. Um, and a lot of them, when you, when you are doing a young living post, remember that it doesn't always have to mean like, here's me with my mom, right? Like my young living post or my lifestyle post that includes young living may not have anything at all of a picture that, that shows a young living product at all. In fact, I, I kind of love doing that like that. Um, like today I posted on my page just about talking about wellness. I didn't mention Young Living. I didn't mention a product. I didn't post a picture of a product. I was very careful with my wording about what I was saying. Um, but people knew what I was talking about. And it was very much like a lifestyle plus what I do for a living type of post, which I am also a a health coach. I went to Trinity. Um, and so, you know, some of that comes out of what I do as a health coach, but you'll find that it all starts to mesh and you'll just find your kind of your rhythm. Um, and numbers are okay. Like it's good to kind of look back and go, Hey, have I even talked about my business in a while, but I don't like to be tied to them. I don't know. I hope that's helpful. That was perfect because you you touched everything because that's when I'm like, well, how with, I heard the ratio before about the one in five. Yeah. And I'm like, but it's all the time is coming out all the time because it's what I'm living. So I don't yeah. know how to not talk about it, right, <laughs> you right, know? Yeah. but I do like yeah. the story aspect of yeah. it. So that was perfect. Thank you very much. Sure. You're welcome. Okay. Another question from Melissa. Do you search or find people on social media in your niche, in your niche? How do you do that? Okay. So that would be a a question that I would not be great at answering because I do not, I have definitely heard that in coaching. Um, I have enough people right now in my circle, even here locally, um, that are still not young living members simply because new people are always being added to my circle one way or another. Um, so I don't do a lot of searching on social media and I still have, even after all these years, people who have been like silently lurking, like, um, a a family friend of ours who literally has just been watching for years and kind of had said nothing until a couple of months ago is, is getting ready to enroll. So, um, but I do know people who do that. I do know people who do the hashtag thing and, um, go looking for people in, in their niche. And I may do that at some point. 
I'm just kind of at capacity right now, personally, with, with the people that I'm sharing with. Um, but I do know that people do that. I would just encourage you. I am a big, and this is so funny that I'm about to say this because just with what's been going on with my family this year, I have not taught um, a big in-person class this year at all because it was January 8th that my dad passed away. So right at the beginning of the year, and then it's just been quite the year. Um, and I've literally just been kind of taking care of my members and doing what I can while helping my mom and, you know, us healing as well. Cause it was, he was young and it was very unexpected. So it's been a lot. Um, but that said, so me admitting that about this year, I have still been in person with people, a lot on one of one-on-one -on -one conversations. And if you're going to talk about growing your circle and finding people in your niche, make sure you're doing that locally as well to the best of your ability, you know, join a new group of some kind, go do something fun, um, hang out at the coffee shop and work, whatever it might be, because we all have different things we love to do. I just think it's so important to have those in-person connections and not be only on social media. And I, I've seen people do a lot of defaulting to that. It's just easy to do. And sometimes we don't have a choice. Sometimes we don't have a choice. Um, but in-person is, is such a big deal. And I am not seeing all of my, all of the comments. So I apologize if I'm, if I'm missing anything. No, that's okay. You're doing great. Okay. From Stacy uh, says, do we know when the diffuser goes out to people who sign up new on loyalty rewards? Does it go out with the second order or on its own? I think Anybody it goes out with the second order. Um, I see Christy's here. She might know too, but I think it goes, it's supposed to go out with that order, I believe. Let's pray it does. Let's, yeah, let's just put some love order. around that. Yeah. yeah. Then Elaine says systems, question mark. Where can I find systems? Okay. So when I was referring to systems, I was kind of referring to your own thing. Like my system is one of them. Okay. Because when we talk systems, like you're going to end up with systems for all sorts of things. But like my system for monthly planning in my group is printing out these little calendar pages because I like paper better than apps. I, I get really fed up with all the apps. You saw how well I did on my computer with Zoom. So, and I'm sure everyone on my team was like, here we, here we go again, um, who was watching. But systems, there are systems, like again, life steps. I don't know why I keep going back to them, probably because I love them. But your systems for sharing can literally be like, I'm going to go to life steps and I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to have text scheduled to automatically go out to welcome uh, new members. Maybe you've got um, get oiling vaults. And so you've got a system for sending people, you know, straight to the vaults when they enroll, they get a welcome email, click here, welcome video. Maybe there's going to be a welcome packet going out. Um, yeah, Life Steps is really, really fabulous. Life Steps and Get Oiling are two, it just kind of, I use a little bit of both. Um, some people are like, I only need Life Steps. And some say, I only need Get Oiling. Whatever it is, they're really helpful in helping you step into systems. But again, remember that systems can also be like, yeah, this is how I do this every single month. I pull out my piece of paper, I get with my you know, assistant or I get with my leaders in the group that I work with or whoever it is, and we schedule our month out together. A system could be, um, I have this person post every Monday and this person posts every two. I mean, you're just gonna have so many micro systems, but if you're talking apps and things like that, I really like get oiling and life steps. So Krisha says, what's a good frequency for thanking customers for being on loyalty rewards? That's really good. Really good question. Um, I would say I don't do it often enough. Like I, my goal is quarterly. I think quarterly is a really great, um, frequency. And I, and I think that because you can kind of flow with the seasons, like I love to send out um, a little gift with like a fall diffuser recipe card. And then I love to send out little Christmas gifts. And I just think it works really, really well. You could send out a monthly email or text if you wanted to, but um, I think quarterly is great. I don't think that like, don't take that and write it down. Like that's what you have to do. But I think quarterly is fabulous. So does Life Steps work in Canada? I do not know if Life Steps. Oh, 
somebody says, yes, I believe so. It does work well. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. We got the answer. Yay. Those are all the questions I see in the chat. Thanks, Christy, for answering a lot of them with me. Um, I appreciate all that you're writing there. <laughs> and thank you guys for putting up with my tech issues and my voice and coughing and, and double fisting my, <laughs> my drinks and lots of cheer. I really, really appreciate it. So, um, and thanks for letting me come and share. I hope it was helpful.